Hey new humans, it's me again. And today I have another how to draw video. So the last one we did, I did Sonic in a slideshow format. And a lot of you guys have watched that recently. There was at least 45 views on that. So that's pretty cool. So today, I'm gonna do something a bit easier. Because I like to do the easy subjects for the ones I do on camera. And so today, we're going to just draw a whole bunch of different kinds of shields. So I got my pencils, the mechanical ones, they might snap a few times, but oh well. And I got my box of colored pencils. As you guys remember, I have tons of colored pencils. And that's not even all my colored pencils. I really like colored pencils. That's why I collect a lot of them. So, let's begin. I don't want to take too long on this intro. So I get my pencil ready. Are you guys ready? Do you have your paper and stuff? So, the first shield I'm going to show you guys will be a circle shield. So that's easy. We just draw a simple shape. And if you're not comfortable with doing circles, then you can use a compass, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I'm not very good at using compasses, so I just I just do it by hand. And then I just erased a little nub in the middle. So yeah. For a circle shield, of course, start with a circle. And you put another circle inside that circle for the metal rim. like that so it should look like a dinner plate now now on the metal rim you gotta have your little screws that hold it together so for that you just draw a bunch of little circles many or as few as you want this is pretty customizable This is just an example here of how you can draw yourself a nice circle shield. It's a nice little small shield. So here's mine with the little, the little metal bubbles, or screws, or whatever to hold it together. Now I'm not gonna leave the shield plain. For this one, I'm gonna put a nice little lightning bolt emblem in the middle. So, it's just a zigzag you start flat line top. And as you want your lightning bolt facing the other direction, then at that point, in that play, in that case, you just make a little triangle there. So you go in and out a few times, and your pencil should not snap like that. Um, and then you go down like this. And you repeat for the other side. It's kind of like an upside down Christmas tree. If you think about it. So yeah, we got ourselves a lightning bolt shield. Nice small handy shield. And then the next shield I want to draw we got an oval, slightly bigger. By slightly bigger, I mean a lot bigger. You would need a bigger character, you'd use that one. See the size comparison? Just like before, you draw another oval in the middle. Like that, and it's shaped like a potato. And I'm going to do less circles on the rim of this one. This one has just four circles on the rim. And the design for this one is going to be a more simple one. For this one, 
I'm gonna put the ring, another ring in the middle. So it's like an oval shield with a circle shield in the middle. Kind of, except it's not. It's just an emblem that looks like it. And right now it looks like an avocado. And then there's another circle right in the very center. And now it's like an oval bullseye. Of Target, I mean. <laughs> Alright, now that one was simple. Let's do a pentagon shaped one. Start with your butt line. It's just a V simple pentagon. And you turn it into a little house like that. And of course we've got to have the rim. This shield will have five little knobs on it. Hold it together. And this one, gonna make it look nice and shiny. Put like a streak across it. Starting here. Make up another line back here. So it's a very shiny shield, kind of like the mirror shield, I guess. So now we have three shields. Which one is your favorite so far, guys? The lightning shield, the, the uh, avocado looking shield, or this pentagon shield. We can do quite a few more. These are nice and easy. Let's do a triangle. It really doesn't take much to draw these, so this should be a nice, easy video for you guys. Just keep you busy for a while. And then, at the end, you can make some more if you wish. On your own. I think I'll put a heart in this one. So now there's a triangle shield with a heart emblem. That's cute. Hmm. There's still tons of room on the paper. We can do some more. Well, we don't have one that's just a square yet. Let's do that. And this one's a big one. Nice big square. This 
this one's going to have a little divot. Now you know what's really hard? Drunched swords. So that's why I'm with just shields for today. Cause I'm no good at drawing swords. But yeah, shields are so easy. And this one we're gonna have some metal bars across it. So it's extra, extra sturdy. It's like a barricade shield. Like this. And even that is going to have these little that extra strength and so we still have room for at least one more shield guys so let's see what shape should we do now Hmm. Well, we don't have an acorn shaped one yet. That would be like a variant of the pentagon shaped one. So this one would be rounded at the top. Uh, well, wrong side. There we go. The viewfinder is very terrible. And then like the other one goes down. With the bottom. Or maybe it's more shaped like uh, a radish. Some kind of root vegetable. Or teardrop. And for the emblem of this one, hmm, I'll draw the queen. This is the frame of the wing. Right now it looks like a scythe or something. Or sickle. And then we just do a bunch of triangles on the bottom. Like that. Then you draw more triangles on the inside. Two more rows to do it. And so there you go, a nice collection of six shields. That's just that line is time to color them in. All right, so the main colors that you would see as the rim of these shields would be usually silver, but I think that the metallic gold could work too. So let me see if I can dig out my other attack colors. Got silver and bronze. These are the dream attack colors. 
So I'm gonna use mostly silver because that's what you would typically see. I'm gonna start with the first shield, the circle shield. Color the rim silver. If you hear that now and that's Misha in the background, she's looking for her babies. How many shields do you guys have? Do you have the same six or have you drawn a few extra? You can use your imagination to create some more. We're like, you can do the same shapes with different emblems on them. Different colors of the same thing. There's so many different ways you can change it up. Make it your own unique thing. So we're gonna rim. Now, this one is going to have a red emblem, this red lightning bolt. Yours doesn't have to be this clear, but if you want to do the exact one I have, then it's going to be red. Red lightning bolt. Purple looks good with red. So the background of this shield would be purple. The particular purple I'm using is kind of a bluish purple, so it's almost indigo. But the colored pencil itself says purple, so I prefer this kind anyways. You know, the colored pencil packs always say colors may vary, and it's true. You can have like four colored pencils that all say the same color and from the same company, and they can all look different. So, here's what the first shield looks like now, colored in. So we're gonna move on to that oval one. Now, this one will have a gold rim. These metallic colored pencils are pretty handy, but if you don't have them, then you can go with like gray for the silver and um, golden yellow for gold. As for bronze, uh, you might want to combine a little bit of brown and yellow. But I think usually, I think bronze is included more often than the other two metallic colors. So here's the frame of the oval. Nice metallic gold. And but the very center of the shield, the little bobble in the middle. Uh, don't mind that, that's the dishwasher. The, the, the little bobble in the center will also be the top gold. As usual, you can change it to whatever color you want to customize your own shield. 
but for the purpose of this video, we have a nice golden volvule in the middle. And for the circle around it, a, a bit of black. This nice dark ring. You can twist your paper around to do it if you want. That's how I do it sometimes. Like right now. Or you can just keep the paper the same way. This and you know what color looks good with black? Red. So the center of the shield will be red. Again, you can choose whatever color you want. Also, I have a binder here I'm using as a hard surface. I'm trying to avoid getting the texture of the table onto my pictures. So the binder kind of has a texture sometimes. Somehow, I think sometimes a little bit of cat hair gets stuck inside of it and so it sometimes leaves arms, but not as badly as the table itself. So far, and the very center as well. Not the very center, because the very center is that little golden bobule, bobble knob whatever and so it looks like this that's pretty neat huh moving on to the pentagon shaped shield going back to silver the outline, but I promise I will use bronze on at least one of them. If you hear that scratching noise in the background, that's um, Diva. She's trying to go after her brother's tail. I think I'll combine some colors for the center of this one. Just to keep things a little interesting. So that's the entire frame here. Now for the streak, I'm going to very lightly put a little bit of silver on it. It's barely noticeable. And a little tiny bit of gold. Finders all blurry. There we go. Now I'm also going to put a little tiny bit of gold on the center. Then we're going to combine that with some yellow. heavier than the gold, but still gentle. Like this. And then the 
the next color, if you guys have it. If not, you can do the yellow a little heavier. Um, I have one in here somewhere. Excuse the loud noise. Lemon yellow. You put that on. And just combine those three colors and you got a nice looking thing. Like this. Now it really is like the mirror shield. At least from I think to the past. The other mirror shields not so much. Okay, and for this triangle shield, we're gonna do the bronze. Well, I am. You can choose whatever color you want. Bronze for the outline. possible with small strokes but it kind of helps. So here's the shield with a bronze rim. And for the emblem I'm gonna have a nice green nice green heart. red heart maybe just a suggestion and go around the green I'm gonna put some pink now pink and red sounds good too I'm gonna find my pink there it is put it around the heart and then it looks like a kind of a watermelon that's fun. Watermelons are nice. Do you guys like watermelons? So that was easy. Now for the big block shield. Silver for that line of that one again. And there's gonna be silver on the bars as well. So a lot of silver. I color a little heavier in the little circles than on the rest of it. That's why it looks slightly darker. Shields, you can imagine all kinds of different stories about them like who owns the shield, what why do they need the shield? What links did they go through to get to the shield? Gotta use your imagination.
gonna color the inner the inner bubbles on this one a different color. And yeah, I know it's an uneven number. There's three on the top bar and four on the bottom bar. If that bothers you, then you can make yours slightly different. You can put yours with an even number on both sides. Why is this pink over here? Okay, um inner bubbles would be bronze. If you leave like a little bit of white in the center, it makes it look extra shiny. You just swirl the blue pencil around. Like this. Now for the inner color. We're gonna have a little bit of brown, light brown in this case. You can use any shade of brown or any other color, doesn't really matter. And so that one's all done, looking good. Now there's just one more shield to do. It's this little raindrop, teardrop, acorn almost shaped shield. I kind of not, I, the acorn shield probably would be a little different. I don't know. It's fun, whatever it is. And I'm gonna go back to the gold for the, the outline. So only one of these I put with the bronze, yeah, my, the bronze frame. But yeah, usually silver is the most common color I assume. I don't know everything about shields, so. Yeah. I like cerulean. Let's use cerulean as the, the inner color. Cerulean's nice. It's like a very energetic kind of blue. Now, the color in this one's a little difficult because it's a wing that's really spiky, but... I don't think that's too bad. Now, you can leave the wing white. It looks real good, but I'm going to color that wing in. So, I'm going to use my golden yellow on the wing. Just have this golden wing on a nice cerulean background. That looks good. 
Emily's meowing in the background. And just like that, we're all done. All six shields are colored in. If you have more, then continue coloring. And so, let me know in the comments, which shield is your favorite? And if you have any ideas for other things you'd like to see me draw for you guys, let me know in the comments as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye. I don't know what I'd do without you